since he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay, Arthur's ain't looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh, if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. It's weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Hey, Luck! I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest, Willie. You know. An old man in town. Bandit. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. Miss, just for a short bit. I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davey, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stand, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. By the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson. Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't running in yet. So, they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey. I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Right. We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close and we'll do our best to stick to the trail. It's goddamn weather. In two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Warm and fed. 
least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. A couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. And what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It's stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. But we sure can't go back there to collect it anytime soon. Hey, I think I see something up the path. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? I didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them count their boys' knees. <laughs> was? Yeah. Mac, Sean, you don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once his storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Let's do two lie low on this. Okay, let's head down there. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that way. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of them. Excuse me! Hello! 
Oh, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. On the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. need some... There's a body food. in the wagon. Oh, I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on ditch. I think you should go, buddy. Now, friend. I ain't asking for much. Please. I am... Kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh, oh. upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Ugh, I'm starving. Well, you should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Uh, looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Driscoll. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Mutton Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Mm. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw it. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Meet me out here when you're done. stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Break your neck! <laughs> What's going on? This guy just killed me! 
Southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? We are fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there. But there is more about, apparently. Scout and train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Judge. Well, it is what it is. We found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, here with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed.
He ain't been seen in days. Where there ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Have you? Yes. Have you? Will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. He looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was heading up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left. Recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. Here's some tracks leading to the river. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. Tracks lead this way, Arthur. Yeah. Any figures, John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Arthur. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. I ain't like him, though. They continue along the cliff wall here. Davey got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. Surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hard again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. We can't follow nothing. Now let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Somewhere. 
I don't think we can go much further than the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I can grab that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Down this way. This. Over here. Ah. It's coming from this way. Okay. It's slippery. Be careful. Yeah, that we're high up here. You're telling me. Help me. It drops down here. Watch yourself. Stay close to the wall. Up here. Come on. Come on. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. You're coming, John. Scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <clears throat> I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dad you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Look up there. Like a, a dog bite. Uh, no, 
you a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died. An hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. you. Got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was just discussing with Harris Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That's civilization. I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? Get strong. We wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. Mm -hmm. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck. But then the storm covered our traps, and now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, and we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. What about you, Arthur? You doubt me, too? Never. Good. Because you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men after us, because they ain't never gonna find us. But we need money. Of course, Dutch. Thank you, sir. For your strength. It means a lot to me. Starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. 
We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? Ten, twelve people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. And Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Mm -hmm. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Yeah. Here. You're gonna need some meat out there. Assorted, salted, awful. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is a rest? Come on. You take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right, let's head out. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Oh, well, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? <laughs> There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Yeah. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. I ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just... I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but you sure weren't good. some patches of grass here. This is good. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. See the tracks? I don't think so. Maybe not. Focus. What are you waiting for? It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, 
You'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Down there. You see him? Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. <laughs> nice. See if you can get another one. Okay. Try again. Careful. This might be our only chance for a good meal. didn't kill it. You should go finish it off. Go and use your knife on her. It'll be the quickest. That's it. <laughs> Done. Okay, that'll do it. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You show your hands okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Back 
than you are. Come on, man. Let's head back. Whoa! Uh, careful. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. So, people are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. That girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Huh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? Going like down with them? I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big game. Nasty such bitches. Their leader, calm, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Cut up here. Off the trail. I'll go. Six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Uh, sooner or later, your job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. Or never. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Huh? 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Jose. Huh. I'm sure. That saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. We'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take time with you, Dad. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. 
He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. Oh, watch it. I tried to ride the cow once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hit time over here. Got some food back, boys! Come on, get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. Let me show you a little. There's a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well! <laughs> what a surprise! We found a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest your hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. You'll get to skin you. <laughs> you always want the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Oh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. You always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Check. Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting. All these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <gasps> oh. Stay alert there, Javier. Arthur? Oh, boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, you lot have all turned to yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Michael. I ain't never seen so many long faces. <laughs> I guess... I guess folks miss them. I fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> well, I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. We've been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Judge. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about planes and detonators here. Cone always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you, my fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit, I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are no Driscolls about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camping near some lake. 
Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this store of their planet. Fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Calm O'Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest one way or another. It will be. Some things I can't forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Annabelle, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. gentlemen this is it are we goddamn ready ready dutch good now mr morgan and i we're gonna head up here a little see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp mr williamson mr bell you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp mr summers mr escuela you two hold position here let's go That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You two, get up there and keep us covered. <laughs> sure thing. Good. Come on, let's go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now our supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on.
It's steep here. Careful. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. What the hell are you doing? God damn it! All right, boys. Kill these sons of...
Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? It looks fine. It smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss? Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, my God. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna run. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys, only you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Torres, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get cold, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Cole? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. Could be useful. Okay, you got it. Sack 
you shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We we'll shoot fellas. Is need shooting. Save fellas. Is need saving. And feed them. Is need feeding. We are going to find out. What you need. I can't believe it! I know Driscoll in my camp! I ain't no Driscoll, listen! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Well, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay.